Hi there guys! So today I'm going to be doing a video all about Thomas Cook Premium Economy. Um, I'm going to kind of chat through like why we chose to fly with Thomas Cook Premium Economy, chat about the benefits of flying Premium Economy with Thomas Cook and then talk finally about my experience with some videos from our trip. So we flew from Manchester in the UK over to um, Los Angeles. So it's quite a long flight and um, we did return and we flew both ways Premium Economy with Thomas Cook. Yes, yeah, so the main reason that we chose um, to fly with them was the route, I would say, more than anything else. Um, so, from Manchester, the only airline that f flew direct at the time, and I think still flies direct, um, is Thomas Cook. With Virgin we had to stop in London, and with Brit British Airways we had to stop in London as well. So in terms of ease, we thought, well that's probably better. Also in terms of price, premium economy with Thomas Cook was cheaper than flying economy with Virgin or British Airways. So we kind of just decided it was a no-brainer and that's what we would do. Um, I've flown with Thomas Cook twice before in economy, um, both times to America. Um, I would say I've had mixed <laughs> experiences. Um, so the first time I really didn't like it at all. Um, the planes were quite old, they didn't have like good seatback TVs, it was like just playing on a loop. It's really raining. Um, yeah, it was just playing on a loop. So there was like times in the flight where you had no entertainment, it was rubbish. Um, the second time was better, um, but you have to pay for a lot of Thomas Cook. So that was the first time I actually got food. So, like the first time I flew with them, we had to pay for food. Um, the second time in economy, you, you actually started doing food for free and they had like proper seatback TVs. Um, but you still have to pay for like alcohol or any drinks um, and you had to pay to like upgrade your film so you got like three or four films I think included and if you want anything else you had to pay for that. So in terms of like the perks of flying premium economy you got a slightly bigger wider seat. I wouldn't say the width was like massive. Um, it definitely felt potentially like less wide than the Virgin one from memory. I haven't actually compared. Um, Legroom was good and there were footrests um, as well so that's also a benefit it helps in terms of sleeping and then you got the premium <laughs> the premium um, entertainment package was free so you don't have to pay like the extra i think it's like six or seven pounds per person each way so like 14 pounds saying that we saved there you also got all your alcohol and all your drinks included so like we were just getting bottles of like mini bottles of Bottega. Um, and I know when we flew last time, I think it was two for £12 on that. So I think I got through like at least two on the way there and two on the way back. Because that's like £24 worth. Plus I had like Diet Cokes. And I didn't know I had Pepsi. They didn't have Diet Coke. Remember that. But um, yeah, they had Pepsi. So I had Diet Pepsi as well. And then I think I got like some wine with dinner um, and some rum at some point as well. So I like, made use of that. And then also you got um, like first on board, first off. Um, your luggage came out first which was really helpful and um, getting off the plane first in LA was helpful as well in terms of immigration because we were the first ones then to go through immigration. Um, also on the way there from Manchester we got fast track security so we didn't have to go the normal security line um, and both on the way there and on the way back you got 32 kilograms of luggage which was a good amount of luggage like not as much as obviously with like um Virgin and British Airways when you fly premium you get two suitcases which like two at 23 kilograms so you get like 46 and um, so not as much as them but still better than just flying economy with somebody else um so that's kind of why we chose to do it in terms of experience um like I just mentioned getting on the flight first and getting off the flight first was definitely a massive plus just being able to get off the plane quickly, get through immigration quickly and getting our luggage quickly meant that we got to our hotel quickly and had time to chill out in the evening which was nice. In terms of the food, I forgot to mention earlier you get premium food if you're in premium economy. Um, on the way there it was better than on the way back is what I would say but still I would say it's probably worse than I've had in economy on other airlines. Um, mainly in terms of choice. So there was only two options um, for food. Neither of them were vegetarian, but obviously you could have chose vegetarian ahead of, ahead of time. But normally there is some kind of like vegetarian pasta option. There wasn't. Um, 
it was I think it was chicken or beef on the way there and by the time they got to us they only had chicken left bearing in mind there's only like five rows of seats in premium economy the fact that they didn't have chicken like beef left when they came to us was pretty like rubbish um on the way back there was wasn't a choice there was literally just one option like nobody on the plane had a choice which i thought was rubbish like actually shocking um and then i think the rest of it was okay um on the way there you also got like an afternoon tea thing which was okay like it wasn't great um i wouldn't say it was better than in virgin economy you get an afternoon tea and i would say that was probably better than the thomas cook premium economy afternoon tea it wasn't like brilliant and on the way back um we got breakfast and that was the worst <laughs> breakfast i think i've ever had in my flight um, it really wasn't good um they only had orange juice tea or coffee i think in the morning like i just wanted water and they wouldn't even give me water they would only give me orange juice tea or coffee i was like just want water I don't want like juice like I don't want anything like that because like for us so we think we landed at maybe like seven or eight in the morning in Manchester but that's like midnight still in LA time so I was like I don't really want breakfast now anyway but I definitely don't really want orange juice at this po at this point I feel like I should be asleep I just want some water and they wouldn't give me water which I just I just honestly that made me like I really wasn't happy <laughs> In terms of the film selection, I would say that was pretty good, um, not great, <laughs> and definitely no better than any other economy, probably on the lower end of the ones, like, experiences that I've had for economy. Um, yeah, it was just, it was fine, but it wasn't real. Um, there were, like, odd episodes of TV series, I don't, a lot of airlines do that and I don't get it, like, if I'm going to watch one episode of a TV series, I want to watch the whole box set. I would say the same about that for like Virgin as well though because they just have one episode or like maybe three episodes at maximum I'm like what's the point I want like the whole box set um and then this is mainly because we flew there and back in the same month like a lot of the time when I go to America it always works out in timing that I'm flying there um in one month and flying back in another month whereas this time I was there and back in the same month which meant that there was no difference in films on the way back um, so anything that I'd kind of wanted to watch I'd already kind of watched um, so we're kind of running out of stuff to watch on the way home and bearing in mind that it is like a 12 hour flight there and like an 11 hour flight on the way back like you want a good selection of stuff to kind of keep you occupied um, I'm not someone who can really sleep on a plane so um, yeah I did find that like it, what that wasn't anything to do with Thomas Cook in general like it would be the same if I flew with anyone else but um I would say their options were, were fine. Um, luggage, I mean you can't go wrong with luggage, that was a big plus. The only thing that I found um, kind of annoying with the fact that it was 32 kilograms was it was 32 kilograms in one case and I, my case was stuffed full, like I could not have fit anything else in that case and it was 31 kilograms so like, I couldn't use that amount of weight because I just didn't have the space and I have like a big case like you can't get a bigger case I don't think and I just couldn't fill that to that amount so I think it would be better if you could have maybe like still 30 kilo 32 kilograms or whatever but if you can split that over like two things so you could maybe have like a hold all and put some stuff in a hold all and then have your case um but yeah that was it was good like I liked having the extra luggage and and um, we did the fish extend exchange on the Disney cruise and having that extra luggage weight was like invaluable because on the way out I think I had 24 kilograms um, and normally on my way out I have less than 20 so before I'd even started buying anything I was already over a normal weight limit. Drinks, um, like I mentioned before, like they were reasonable options. Um, the only thing that really like annoyed me was the breakfast thing on the way home that I couldn't have water. Um, I just didn't understand that at all. I can also talk about the like staff I guess and like just like the friendliness and the overall experience. Um, I would say on the way there I had a good experience and um, the staff were quite attentive like they came over and asked if we wanted drinks. Um, however on the way home I think the crew that we had were not quite so brilliant. Um, I, I don't remember any names and I wouldn't name any names even if the, I had them but um, I just found them all quite like unattentive, a bit rude um, and it just kind of 
ruined it a little bit um, on the way back. And I just found the whole, like, on the way back, premium economy, like, wasn't, yeah, I'll get to that, but yeah. Um, I just found the whole situation on the way home, like, pretty unimpressive. Um, so I guess overall, would I say that Thomas Cook Premium Economy is worth it? Um, I think if you are looking for the extra baggage, for the price difference that it was for us, I think it was like £60 each way, um, which is basically the same price as adding a case on um, to most airlines. So in that sense, and also the like priority boarding, priority guessing off the plane, um, and the drinks and the films included, I would say it is worth it. Um, in terms of want doing it as an experience I wouldn't say it's worth it Um, I would just do it if it makes sense for you and the journey that you're gonna have on the way there I would say the experience was better on the way back I just wouldn't recommend it Um, there wasn't a good option of food there wasn't a good option for breakfast there wasn't like it just wasn't great Um, the only thing that it'd be good for is that you've got a bigger seat for sleeping but as someone who doesn't really sleep on flights anyway that didn't really um, help me I think the only thing that would help me on flights would be having like a lay flat bed lay flat bed <laughs> um, which obviously Thomas Cook don't really do they've just started doing like I think it's like three you can get three seats in economy and they'll put a bed over it um, which seems really weird to me and um, probably that's like £200 on top of an economy ticket to do that each way so I mean if potentially that would be worth it on the way home but I can't imagine like that it wouldn't be a bed would it you'd be like floating and, and you'd still have people like kicking you in front of you and stuff so I don't know if it would be brilliant um but that's what they've just started doing but yeah I would say overall it was an okay experience in comparison with my experience on like virgin premium economy in the past I would say that virgin premium economy and virgin economy are probably better in like my experience from my experience that I've had. Um, I've not really flown with anyone else long haul and um, this summer I am doing S Emirates. Their economy is supposed to be brilliant so I'm excited to fly with them to do that. But um, overall I would say I've always just found Thomas Cook like okay and if I can fly with somebody else I always would. Um, that might just be my experience. I know a lot of people that have flown with Thomas Cook and have liked it. Um, I think potentially I've just had bad experiences with them i think it's kind it it's worth it but it's not at the same time if you kind of get me that's a really bad review but um it's worth it for the perks it's not worth it as an experience is how i would rate it at the end of the day i hope you've enjoyed watching this video if you have any comments on like thomas cook or the premium economy experiences that you've had um please comment down below um if you like Disney videos or travel videos and please subscribe. I post Disney videos like most of the time and I am doing like quite a lot of traveling this year, going to quite a lot of different places. So I will be posting vlogs from those trips as well. So there will be a lot of Disney this year, but there will also be a lot of general travel I think as well. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching, bye.